right my dear student this is the second video of the number pattern grade 8 right so this is the second video in this video so we will able to do how to find the general term of the odd numbers how to find the general term of the even numbers and how to find the general term of the square numbers so i'm just going to cover those three parts in this video right first one the general term of the pattern of the odd numbers so we need to find out how to find the general term of the pattern of the odd numbers let's try to do this one right look at this one question number two sorry question number one right uh, so we need to take how to find the general term of the one look at this one i'm taking what are the odd numbers right what are the odd numbers just quickly tell me what are the odd numbers one three five seven nine likewise you can do of the odd numbers right so this is the first term second term third term fourth term and fifth term right okay look at this one lamai first term equals to one three four right okay look at this one this is the first term first term equals to 1 1 means 1 means I'm just going to write down so multiples of 2 into 1 2 into 1 equals to 2 2 into 1 equals to 2 2 into 1 equals to 2 but we need 1 so that means 2 into 1 minus 1 2 into 1 minus 1. 2 into 1 minus 1. 2 into 1, 2. 2 minus 1 equals to 1. So that is the first term. Look at the second term. Second term equals to 3. Second term equals to 3. That second term means 2 into 2 minus 1, 2 into 2, 4, 4 minus 1 equals to 3. Third term, look at the third term. Third term equals to 5 patio, third term equals to 5, 5 means 2 into 3 minus 1, 2 into 3 minus 1. 2 into 3 minus 1. 2 into 3 is 6. 6 minus 1 equals to 5. So look at the fourth term. Right. Look at the fourth term. Equals to 7. 2 into 4 minus 1. Now first term here 1. Second term this one equals to 2. Third term this one equals to 3. Fourth term, this one equals to four. Now you can you can see that two and minus one is fixed. Ah, right. Look at this one. Uh, then look at this one. Find down the tenth term. Tenth term means. Ah, uh, then you can tell me that one. Tenth term means two into ten patio. Two into ten minus one. Two into ten. Twenty. Twenty minus one. Ninety. Now you can find out the general term, right? Look at this one. I'm quickly moving to the n term. n term. n term means 2 into n minus 1. Right? n term. 2 into n minus 1. That means 2n minus 1. 2n minus 1. Ah, therefore, what is the general term of the odd numbers, right? General term equals to, general term equals to 2n minus 1. General term equals to 2n minus 1. General term equals to 2n minus 1. So, that means general term of the odd number, right? General term of the odd number pattern, right? General term of the odd number pattern. 
I will write down like this. Then it will take more clear now. General term of the odd number. Odd number pattern equals to 2 and minus 1. Right? So, this is the method, but you need to keep that one in your mind. What is the general term of the pattern of the odd number? That means what, your, what is the answer? 2 and minus 1. Okay? 2 and minus 1. Just quickly note it down. So, this is the first one. Right. Lamai. So, we just found what is the general term of the odd numbers, Patio. What is the general term of the odd numbers? 2n minus 1. Here, you are going to find out what is the general term of the number pattern of the even numbers. So, what is the general term of the number pattern of the even numbers? So, that means what is the even number? That means what is the number pattern of the even numbers? We already did that one, right? Let's try to do this one. 2, 4, 6, 8, dot, dot, dot. That one is easy. So, this is the first term. I'm quickly moving down. That is the first term. Now, you can do this one, right? We already done that one in the first video as well. First video, get make a idea. First term equals to pet your 2. 2 means 2 into 1. Second term equals to 4. 4 means 2 into 2. Third term equals to 6, equals to 6, that means 2 into 3. Fourth term equals to 8, fourth term equals to 8, that means 2 into 4. Very easy, Lamai. You already learned that one in the first lesson, as first video as well. Then you can find down third, fourth and n term. N term means, so you can see that 2 is fixed. 2 is fixed. So you can change in value. What are changing value? 1, 2, 3, 4 like that. So you need to take 2 times N. 2 times N. So 2 times N means 2N. 2 times N means 2N. So that means general term of the general term of the number pattern of the even numbers equals to 2n. Now look at the uh, previous one, odd numbers 2n minus 1. So second one, tn. General term of the number pattern of the even numbers. So this one equals to T here. So you can see that 2 is fixed. Okay. Very good. Just quickly note it down. Patio. Note it down very clear. General term. Look at the third video. Patio. General term of the pattern of the square numbers. Right. Square numbers. Square numbers means you can arrange that dots into the square. Right. So look at this one. This is the first term. 1, how many dots are there? 4, how many dots are there? 3, 6, 9, how many dots are there? 16, how many dots are there? 16, then you can do this one, okay? 1, 4, 9, and 16. Look at this one, this is the first term, this is the first term, First term equals to 1. 1 means 1 into 1. 1 means 1 into 1. This is the second term. This is the second term. Patio methane is second term. maker. Second term means 2 into 2. This is the third term, my dear. Okay. This is the third term. Third term equals to 3 into 3. Ah, now you can get an idea. First term 1 into 1. Second term 2 into 2. Third term 3 into 3. Fourth term 
four term four into four, four into four. Four into four, four term, four into four, four term, four into four. Okay, right? Now, fifth term, five into five. Tenth term, ten into ten. Ten into ten. Eleventh term, eleven into eleven. Hundred term, hundred into hundred. Right? Term number two hundred, two hundred into two hundred. Ah, then you can like that. So you can take n term, n term mean pedido n into n, n term means n into n. So what is the general term? General term of the square number pattern. General term of the square number pattern. Right? General term of the square number pattern. equals to n into n, n to the power 2. n to the power 2 means n squared. Like guys, you can do this one. Easy. First one, have you remember the first one, odd numbers. Next one, even numbers. Third one, what is the third one, Pedro? Square numbers. So shall we move to the last one? Last question. Last uh, number pattern is triangular number pattern. Then quickly note it down. Draw that one very clearly. Lassant Tadagana. Right. Look at this one, Lamai. General term of the number pattern of the triangular numbers. Triangular numbers mean, so what is the first triangular number? Equals to 1. First triangular number equals to 1. Okay. First triangular number equals to 1. Second one equals to, you can arrange that one in the triangular shape. Like this. How many dots are there, Petio? Three dots. So that means what the second triangle, second triangular number is 3. Third one, 1, 2, and three dots should be there. So that means three. One, two, three, four, five, six. How many dots are there? Six. How many dots are there? Six. Now look at this one. This is the first triangular number that is one. This is the second triangular number that is two. Third triangular, second triangular number, one, two, three. Third triangular number, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Right? Look at this one. Fourth one, 1, 2, and 3 dots, and also 4 dots. Likewise, you can do. How many dots are there, Patio? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. 10 dots, 1, 2, 3, 4, 2 dots, 3 dots, 4 dots and 5 dots, okay. Then what is the triangle number? 1, 2, 3, 5, uh, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15 is there. 15 is there. Right. Wait. Now we need to identify the pattern. Look at this one, right here. I'm just going to draw that triangle like this. Okay. Draw that triangle like this. Right, then I can draw this one, I can draw this one like this. Very good. Look at this one, then I can draw the triangle like this. One, two, 
and three. Right. Look at this one, Lamai. Now, I'm going to create the other part as well. This is one. I'm just going to create the other part as well. One, two, three. Ah, uh, now look at this one. Now look at this one. Right? Look at this one. One, one. Right? Neither. One, one. Now look at this one. One, two, three. One, two, three. Right? Likewise, you can do. Okay? Then I'm just going to complete the other half. I'm just going to complete the other half as well. One, right? One, and this one should be equals to two. One, and two, one, two, three. Lamai, can you identify that shape? One, two, three, four. One, two, three. One, two, three. Can you identify that shape? What is that shape? Huh? What is that shape? Look at the shape figure. Rectangle. What is that shape? Rectangle. Uh, rectangle. That means four dots are there. Three dots are there. Four dots and three dots. Okay? Four dots are there. And the three dots are there for the downside. I will draw that one again. Look at this one, video. Right. Look at this one. Look at this one. Right. Okay. One and two. Right. Shall I move that one to the that triangle type? Are you there? Look at me. One. One. Two. One. Two. Three. And one, two, three, four. Okay, then you need to convert that one into the other side. And if Petra down up at you with it, right? Look at this one, look at this one. One and one, two, one, two, three, one, two, three, four. Now we are very clear. Now we are very clear. So that means how many? This is the first one, no? right? This is the first one, right? Okay. This is the first one, right? Two into one. Oh, one into two. One into two. Two into three. Two into three. How many dots are there? Then just quickly tell me the area of this angle, area of this uh, rectangle. 1 into 2, 1 into 2, 1 into 2, 1 into 2, 2. But what is the value here? 1, that means divide by 2. Very good. 2 into 3, 2 into 3, what is the value? Divide by 2. 3 into 4, 3 into 4, 3 into 4 means 3 into 4, divide by 2. Divide by 2 means you need to exact half, no? 3 into 4, 12, 12 divided by 2, 6. 1, 2, 3, 5, 4, 6. 4, 5, 6. Okay? Right. Look at this one. Look at this one, right? 10, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Look at the rectangle. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 5, right? 5, that means 4 into 5 and divide by 2. Divide by 2. 4 into 5 and divide by 2. Ah, Lamai, look at this one. This is the first term, right? This is the first term. One is there. Second term, two is there. Third term, three is there. Right? This is the fourth term. 
four is there fifth term five is there so look at the n term n should be there n term n should be there first term equals to two that means more than one a cup ready more than one that means more than one means a cup ready so that means n times look at this one two means more than one three three means more than one four four means more than one five ah n means n more than one n plus one now you can see division two is all over there right here 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 and you can put that one here so this will be the general term of the triangular numbers general term of the triangular numbers that one is a little bit hard right chutta kamari but you can understand that one right but you can understand this one general term equals to n times n plus 1 divided by 2 n times n plus 1 divided by 2 right likewise you can note it down okay right then you need to keep that one in your mind how to find the triangular numbers of the uh, triangle numbers general term of the triangle numbers n into n plus 1 divided by 2 right just quickly note it down ready right okay Lamai? Then you can write down this one in your book, right? You need to write down this one in the lesson book. Then we can move to some questions together, right? Then after we can move to some questions. So one and only thing, you need to keep into your mind, what is the general term of the triangular numbers? N times N plus 1, N times N plus 1, N times N plus 1 divided by 2. So this is the general term of the triangular numbers, okay? Then note it down. Right, let's quickly move to the summary of the session. Number pattern. In the number pattern, Lamai, have you remember the first one? We already learned that 3, 6, 9, 12. So is, this is the pattern. So this one equals to T1. This one equals to T2. This one equals to T3. That means first term, second term, third term. Likewise, we learn those things. Right? Okay. Then after, we learn that how to implement the general term. We learn that how to implement the general term. Right? How to implement the general term. Have you remember that one? 9, 18, 27. Right? As an example, 9, 18 27 dot 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 so that means first term equals to 9 into 1 second term equals to 9 into 2 third term equals to 9 into 3 likewise you can see 9 is fixed 9 times n so this is the general term so this is the general term you already learned that how to implement the general term with the video, implement the general term. Uh, then what are the main three, right? Not three, actually four. Ne? So general term of the even numbers, general term of the even numbers equals to 2n. General term of the even numbers equals to 2n. General term of the odd numbers, general term of the odd numbers equals to 2n minus 1, general term of the odd numbers equals to 2n minus 1, general term of the, general term of the square numbers, general term of the square numbers equals to n squared, general term of the square numbers equals to n squared, and we just learned that general term of the triangular number equals to general term of the triangular numbers equals to n times n plus 1 divided by 2. n times n plus 1 divided by 2. So this is the summary of the first lesson. Then I think that one is very clear.
then better to remember those things lamai right even numbers odd numbers square numbers and the triangle numbers so this is the summary of the first lesson what is that one number patterns okay then we can move to three questions and we can complete the lesson let's quickly move to the exercise so what is the exercise let's quickly move to the exercise it's 1.4 in your exercise book right okay just quickly note it down lamai you need to take drawing book for the short notebook right then you need to take a drawing book four pages are enough right so write down this one in your drawing book so that is the short notebook you need to keep that one as the short notebook okay then you can write down that one then after uh, then for the every lesson we are writing short notes so you can do that one in the short notebooks you can apply attractive colors designs all the things මේක පැටියෝ පිටු 40ක විතර ගන්න වෙනවා ෂෝට් නෝට් බුක් එකක් ඩ්‍රෝවින් බුක් එකක් දැන් යු නීඩ් ටු රයිට් ඩවුන් දැට් වන් හිය ඕකේ රයිට් ක්වෙස්චන් නම්බර් 1 වාට් ඉස් ද 10 ටර්ම් ඔෆ් ද ස්ක්වෑර් නම්බර් පැටර්න් ස්ටාටින් ෆ්‍රොම් 1 සෝ ස්ටාටින් ෆ්‍රොම් 1 මීන්ස් 1 දැන් වාට් ඉස් ද නෙක්ස්ට් ස්ක්වෑර් නම්බර් පැටර්න් වාට් ඉස් ද නෙක්ස්ට් ස්ක්වෑර් නම්බර් පැටර්න් 2 into 2 4 ලයික්වයිස් යු කැන් ඩු දිස් වන් නෝ right look at the general term patio general term equals to right general term equals to n squared for the square number pattern what is the general term general term equals to n squared we need to find 10th term we need to find 10th term 10th term means instead of n instead of n we can substitute 10 instead of n we can substitute 10 n squared means n into n no? instead of n we can substitute 10 10 into 10 10 into 10 what is the value 100 10 into 10 100 look at this one what is the 13th term i'm i'm just asking right this one is not asking the mention in the question what is the 13th term that your 13th term means 13 into 13 13 into 13 169 so that one is easy just try to write down the question and try to do that one before me so this is the first question of your uh, two point exercise number 1.4 okay right second question ready what is the 10th term of the triangular number pattern starting from 1 what is the 10th term of the triangular number pattern starting from what so we need to find out what is the general term of the triangular number pattern first general term equals to n times n plus 1 dividing by 2 okay so they are asking 10 10 means you need to substitute n equals to 10 instead of n you need to substitute 10 so that means 10 term equals to 10 term equals to instead of n you you need to substitute 10 right 10 into 10 plus 1 dividing by 2 10 into 10 plus 1 by 11 dividing by 2 2 and 10 2 divided by 2 1 10 divided by 2 5 5 into 11 55 so what is the 10th term 10th term equals to 55 very very easy instead of n you can substitute 10 n n times n plus 1 divided by 2 10th term means 10 into 10 plus 1 And if instead of n, you can put 10. No, 10 plus 1 equals to 11. Equals dividing by 2. 10 into 11 dividing by 2. 2 divided by 2, 1. 10 divided by 2, 5. Okay, right. So this is the question number two. Very easy, Lamai. So one and only thing you need to identify the general term, and you need to substitute the particular number for the n. That's all, right? If you need to find down the 13th term. Substitute n for the thirteen. In order thirteen, that is the initial. Then you can do this one. Right. 
Just quickly note it down. Right. Look at this on video. Question number three. That is a, a different question, right? Total number of triangles in eighth figure. So this is the first one, right? Second one, third figure, fourth figure. Likewise, how many triangles in how many triangles in the eighth figure? How many triangles in eighth figure? How many triangles in eighth figure? How many triangles are there? Only one. How many triangles are there? How many triangles are there? One, two, one, two, and full triangle three. How many triangles are there? One, right? Look at this one. One, two, three, three triangles, four, Five, five triangles, six. How many triangles are there? Six triangles. One, two, three, four, five, and six. Six triangles are there, right? Six triangles are there. One, two, three, four, five. Six, seven, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Right? How many triangles are there? Ten triangles. Lama, look at this one. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Right? One, two, three, four, five, six. Seven, eight, eight, can merge in two triangles, right? There are three triangles, eight, nine, and ten, full triangle. One, three, six, ten, what is that pattern? What is the pattern? One, comma, three, comma, six, comma, ten, what is the pattern? What is the pattern? Triangular number pattern. Ah, that means triangular number pattern. Triangular number pattern. That means triangular number pattern. Triangular number pattern means you can find out the number of uh, how many numbers are there? Eight numbers in the pattern. Look at this one. General term equals to general term equals to what is the general term of the triangular number pattern? n into n plus 1 dividing by 2. General term equals to n into n plus 1 dividing by 2. Instead of n, instead of n, you can substitute 8. Instead of n, you can substitute 8. Ah, look at this one. 8 term equals to Instead of n, you can substitute n, 8, 8 into 8 plus 1, but you divide by 2. 8 into 8 plus 1 equals to 9, dividing by 2. 8 into 8 plus 1 equals to 9, divide by 2. 2 divide by 2, 1. 8 divide by 2, 4. 4 into 9, what is the value? 36. 4 into 9, 36. That means 36 triangles are there. 36 triangles in the which figure? Eight figure. 36 triangles are there in the eight figure. That one is very easy. Okay? Look at this one. One, two, three, and six. One, three, sixteen. So you need to, you need to find out the eight term. You need to substitute eight instead of n. Eight into eight plus one. Eight plus one equals to nine. So 2 and 8, you can divide by 2, Patio. So 2 divide by 2, 1. 8 divide by 2, 4. 4 into 9 equals to 36. That means in the 8th figure, how many triangles are there? How many triangles are there in the 8th figure? 36 triangles are there. Just quickly note it down. So this is the third question, Patio. Then we can move the last question of the session. That is the last question of the first session. So quickly note it down. Right? First, you need to identify the 
number pattern whether it's square number or even number or number or triangular number only four patterns are there no? in according to your syllabus ne walata thiyena hatarai ne e hatarin mokadda kiyala mulin handura ganna mulin api hoya ganna ne e hatarin mokadda ite passe apita dalan din just substitute you can substitute karanna thiyena enna okay just try to do this one look at the last question of the session by you right sayani by said till and start saving money by putting 1 rupee on the first day now look at this one just consider there is a till okay now sayani putting 1 rupee right that sayani putting 1 rupee on the first day 1 rupee is there and she puts 2 rupees and uh, on the second day she puts 2 rupees on the second day she puts 2 rupees on the second day right that means on the second day she put 2 rupees now 2 rupees means 2 rupees means how many rupees are there 2 plus 1 so she is going to put 2 rupees on the second day Then that's why you tell the other day, no, are two plus one all together one. Right? Look at this one. End of the first day. End of the first day. Right? End of the first day. End of the first day one. End of the second day. What is the total amount? End of the second day two plus one equals to three. In third day, he's going to put three rupees into the till. Three rupees. Now one, one, one. So, what is the four, total amount in the till? One, two, three, four, five, six. That means end of the third day. End of the third day. One, two, three, four, five, six. Ah, one. Three, six. You are familiar with this number pattern. What is that number pattern, Fatio? Even numbers or odd numbers or so, triangular numbers or so. what is the number pattern? Yes, triangular number patterns, right? Then you need to find out end of the tenth day. How many? How much money in the till? How much money in the till by the end of tenth day? That means you need to find tenth term of this progression. Ah, uh, what is the general term? General term equals to n times n plus one dividing by two value. So you need to find out the tenth term. Tenth term equals to instead of n, you can substitute ten ne. Ten into ten plus one dividing by two. Ten into ten plus one means eleven dividing by two. 2 divided by 2 equals to 1. 10 divided by 2 equals to 5. 5 into 11, 55. So that means 55 rupees in the till. 55 rupees in the till, right? You need to identify the pattern. First, you need to identify the pattern. Muli ma pattern ne kalas na identify karagan no na. What is the pattern? One three six. One three six is the triangular number pattern. For the triangular number pattern, then you can substitute. Okay, right. Now, Lamai. So this is the end of the session, part one. Right. Lesson number one. What is the lesson number one? Number patterns. I think that now this lesson is very clear. Then you need to write down all the things very clearly. If you have any doubts, so we can sort out together. Right. You need to write down very clearly in your lesson book. And you need to complete the short note as well in your drawing book, in your short notebook. Then just join with us so we can continue the lesson one by one completely. Ekin nekal lesson ati anna pulwa. Mangi thuna pedi make a clear kela. Ona hari prashna thi rona note down karagana. Apni class se kedi make a khata karamu. A prashna formatik. Right. Thank you very much, my dear student. I'm quickly moving to the second lesson. See you on the second lesson. What is the second lesson? Yes, you know the name of second lesson. Right. So this is the end of first lesson, right? Thank you very much for your cooperation. Uh, right? Thank you. Bye.